there already. Yeah, yeah, so. yeah, yeah. Do you want people to be able to talk or? Oh, absolutely. Uh, yeah. Oh, mm -hmm. good. Okay, good. I'll be asking everyone to open up their uh, videos as well then. Yeah. Brilliant. Uh, okay. Whatever works best. Uh, if they want to just type it in chat, that's fine yeah. as well. I want to make sure people okay. get value out of their time. Yeah, yeah. Cool. Okay, let me just uh, open mine up as well. Hi. Long time no see. <laughs> okay, guys, uh, welcome this evening. Uh, if we have any other people join us, uh, that's fine. Um, so, yeah, I've, I've known Keith uh, and his wife and, and his father a long time, uh, a good good few 20 years odd uh, that we've known each other. I've known his dad a bit longer because he's been traveling all around the UK, etc. Um, so Keith Schreiter has 25 years experience in network marketing and MLM. Uh, he shows network marketers how to use simple systems to build a stable and growing business. He's co-authored 30 plus books and audios included, and some of them are including how to follow up uh, with your network marketing prospects, turn not now into right now, start super networking, five simple steps to creating your own personal network group, 51 ways and places to sponsor, uh, sorry, sponsor new distributors and discover hot prospects for your network marketing business. I know a lot of people like that one. So over to you, Keith, uh, without further delay. All right, Terry. Well, thanks for the uh, wonderful introduction. And I just want to let everybody know that I want to get value out of your time. So at any time, please uh, type something into the chat. I only want to go 10, 12 minutes before we do some sort of interactivity because I want to make sure you have something you can use right away. So when you're done with the Zoom, like, okay, I got something I can use. So really quick, um, just to type into the chat. Now in the chat, make sure it's set to everyone. And yep, in the chat, if you could just go and type in a one, two, or three, and I'll let you know what the one, two, or three stands for. Uh, number one is somebody that says, I feel uncomfortable talking about my business. I don't know how to bring it up. It just feels weird. I don't really know what to say, or I've said something and it, it put them off. I'm really not sure what to do. That would be number one. Number two, when somebody says, I feel comfortable talking about my business as long as they're asking me, they're like, can you please tell me more? I need to know more. How does that work? How can I be involved? That would be a number two. And number three is those people that just can talk to anybody at any time. So if you just type in really quick, one, two, or three, just so I kind of know um, who I'm talking to. Now, I guarantee you, uh, most people will be like a number two or like a 1.5, you know, like, oh, okay, mm -hmm. I'm okay. Uh, most majority of us, let's say I can talk to someone as long as they're asking me questions because it's so much easier to talk about your business when people are like, can you please tell me more versus like, hold on, don't leave. I, oh, wait, I, did I say something? You know, it's just awkward. So my thing is to make sure you have something you can use right away when someone asks, hey, can you please tell me more about, about your business or how can I bring up my business in a uh, socially acceptable way? <laughs> would be a good one. I call it icebreakers. Some people call it um, elevator speech. There's so many things you can call it, um, but let's get right into it. So here's how it works in real life. A couple of years ago, I have a friend in real estate and she sells a lot of houses. Number one, in her uh, real estate office. She's in charge of training. She's amazing. And she goes, I, you know, I love your books. I, I didn't know you read some of my books. She goes, well, yeah, you know, it's all sales, you know, network marketing, real estate. It's all the same. And I said, okay, great. She goes, I love to follow up. I love to show people houses. I love to close people. I got this down. I just need more people to talk to. And I said, hold a sec. You're number one in sales and you're in charge of training and you're having problems meeting people. Okay. This is weird. I said, what do you like to do? She goes, I love networking groups. I can go to networking groups, breakfast, lunch, dinner, happy hour, you name it. I love meeting new people. I said, great. What do you say when you go to these groups? She goes, well, you know, most of the time they have like a name tag where it's all those peeling sticky things or a, a badge. And she goes, I always ask people what they do for a living, even though I could really see it. She goes nine times out of 10, they ask me what I do for a living. And I said, Oh, this is great. Awesome. You're, you're learning. And I go, oh, what do you tell people? And she goes, well, I tell people I'm in real estate. And I'm literally just waiting for like 10 seconds. And she's going to tell me something way more impressive than I'm in real estate. And she goes, oh, no. And then after five or six minutes, I engage them in conversation. I try to sneak in my business. I said, wow, that's um, horrible. I said, you know, people, you know, it's, it's not 
it doesn't flow. Like you were trying to sneak in our business. And I, and I said, number one, um, people already know what real estate agents do. Like they have a, they already know there's no conversation there. Um, like, so when I bought this house, I needed, you know, this amount of bedrooms, bathrooms, location, school district price. Um, what, yeah, you know, I gave them all these things that I needed. We needed, excuse me. And she came up with three houses. So I don't have to look at 30 houses. I don't have to look at 40 houses. I have to look at three. So it's great. I love real estate agents. I have a preconceived positive notion about real estate agents. Now, some people may have a preconceived um, negative notion about real estate agents. They may say, oh, wait, you know, they just want to sell me a house. They just want to send me a postcard with their photo on it on my birthday, you know, things like that. Like it doesn't lead towards conversation, whether it's positive or negative. I said, it doesn't lead towards conversation. So I said, how about this? How about instead of saying I'm in real estate and boring them, why don't you tell people what you like to do? Like I show people how to buy their dream home for less than their pain and rent. I show people how to upgrade their home for less than their existing mortgage, because that's what she does. She can find deals and she she does her real estate magic. I don't really know how that works. All I know is that it works. She just couldn't believe it. Next day sends me a text and says, I got five appointments just from changing what I said I did for a living. Now only three of them worked out, but she sold three houses. She had other skills, but those people wouldn't even engage her in conversation unless she had a good icebreaker that says, Ooh, yeah, I would love to upgrade my existing. You know, I've been meaning to upgrade. I've been meaning to, to have more space or I've been meaning to buy instead of rent or whatever the case may be that, that she told people, but she got three appointments. I mean, that's five figures in income just by changing what she said she did for a living. So think about our business. You know, how do we bring that up? You know, how, do we say something that may be a little bit too confusing or do we say something that has a preconceived notion or are we really saying what we do for a living? So think about our business. Do people want to, okay, so you do trading, right? So do people want to have, um, you know, a bigger percentage of return or a smaller percentage of return? Of course, they want a bigger percentage of return. Do they want you know, a lower risk or a higher risk? Of course, they want a lower risk. And this is everything that you guys do. Or do people want more money in their bank account or less money in their bank account? Do so people want more money in their retirement savings or less money in their retirement savings? Everything that you guys do, that's what you need to be focused on. Not, oh, what do you do for a living? Oh, I, I do Forex trading. Like number one, 75% of the population doesn't know what that is. And I'm not making fun of everyone. I, I've made plenty of mistakes where I, people are like, oh, salesman approaching. And that's what we don't want. We don't want a preconceived notion. We don't want the, the salesman approaching or, oh, what do you do for a living? I'm a network marketer. Okay, maybe their cousins, dogs, uncles, brother had done something and they have a preconceived notion. But we really need to say what we do for a living. So let me give you some options because people need to know options. Like what I say may not be what you would like to say. So before I get this started, um, I, I just found out, okay, that two second pause probably felt longer because I said, I just found out and I took a two second pause to drink water. Why was that? Because you needed to know that information. Like you're like, wait a sec, what it, what's this all about? Now you're finally focused on what I'd like to say. <laughs> Why is that? It's a survival programming that we said, if I ever hear the words, I just found out we need to know this information. Like, um, yeah, the, there's a survival thing. Like, I just found out if we go this way, we're going to get eaten by the lions. I just found out if we eat this berry, it's poisonous. I just found out if we eat this food, it's good for us. It's a survival programming that we still have to this day that hasn't evolved in 2000 years. So how does this work as an icebreaker? Assuming you have some sort of rapport building with somebody, somebody that you know, not a stranger off the street, just somebody that you know. If you said, I just found out, then they're probably going to listen to you. Now, I'm going to give you some options, and I'm going to give you the introverted option as well. So just in case you're like, I would never say that. Well, let me give you the introverted option. That's me. So I've said, I uh, just found out how we can re re increase our retirement savings. I just found out we can increase our interest at the bank. I just found out how we can have low risk, high return investments. I just found out how we don't have to worry about the, the stock market. I just found out how we could retire early. I just found out how we could permanently get rid of our community. I just found out how we could uh, build a nest egg without having to babysit. I just found out how we can increase our retirement savings or retirement um, uh, percentages, things like that. People are like, well, what, how does it work? It's so much easier for people to digest that because they understand it. 
versus giving them a lot of facts and figures and fancy words that they may not understand. Now, once we engage them in conversation, then it's like, okay, well, how does it work? Well, this is how it works. This is what it is. Things like that. That's easy. But we need to engage them in conversation first. Now, now some people say, well, I don't feel comfortable posting that or texting that out or engaging people in conversation with that because it just feels a little bit pushy. So let me give you the introverted version. Well, I just found out how you can uh, type in whatever you like or say whatever you like, whether it's increase your retirement savings, retire early, uh, increase your uh, per, uh, uh, percentage in your bank, whatever that is. If you'd ever like to know about it, I'd be glad to tell you. So if you ever say, if I'd ever like to know about it, I'd be glad to tell you. It's so much easier. Like, I'm not trying to push people into it. I just want to let people know that this exists. So it's super easy to do. And I always call it the teenager test. Like if a teenager can understand it, you're golden because everyone thinks, reads, uh, pays attention like a teenager because we have a lot going on. People are worried about uh, a lockdown, what the kids are going to do, what the, the, you know, all sorts of stuff, the job situation. We need to keep things very simple and engage people in conversation. So I'm just going to give you a couple more. And I really want people to, to have something you can use right away. So I really want to open this up to chat, but let me give you some really quick, easy ways to really turbocharge this. So uh, I just found out is uh, one, one that I like to use. And here's another four words is, well, you know how. Now, if I say the words, well, you know how, you already know that I'm going to give you information you already know. Why would we do that? Because all that does is says, we think the same. So if I say, well, you know how, then I'm going to give you information you already know. We think the same. It's like if I'm wearing your favorite football jersey or if I'm wearing your favorite uh, school that you went to or where you grew up, the city that you, you like, you have that shirt. You're like, I automatically like this guy. That's how rapport building is. So I don't have a, a hundred different football shirts that I can wear at different times. Uh, if I know you, so you, so you like me. So I just say, oh, well, you know how. So what, what information would benefit our business? Well, you know how we're always worried about the stock market or, well, you know, well, you know how we get such a bad return on our money in the banks or, well, you know how we always want to uh, start our own business. Well, let's go with something like, uh, well, you know how we get a horrible percentage of return from our bank accounts. Nobody argues that nobody says, no, my bank gives me 25%. It's, it's amazing. No, they're like, oh, my bank gives me a half a percent or, you know, they have this information that no one's going to argue. Well, you know how we get a horrible uh, percentage from our bank account. Oh yeah. Or we know how we get a, a horrible interest rate on our bank accounts. Yeah. I just found out how we can increase our rate of return and not have to worry about risky investments. If you ever like to know about it, I'd be glad to tell you. So it's a simple formula that people are like, wow, okay. It's, I can engage people in conversation. People are becoming, um, you know, more susceptible. Like, can you please tell me more? Or how does it work? Or, you know, yeah, what is it? Things like that. So I'll give you a couple more really quick. Um, uh, well, you know how we, we, we really don't like commuting. Oh yeah. Nobody says I love commuting. I can't wait to sit in traffic. If you know that they're a commuter, we know how we hate commuting. Oh, just found out we can permanently get rid of our commute. If you ever like to know about it, I'd be glad to tell you. So you have an introduction to your business opportunity. So there's just a couple of them. I'll give you one more really quick. If you know people or if you just met somebody new and like my friend in real estate that meets people in networking groups. Now, I'm not saying go into a lot of networking groups. I'm saying when you go out in the public, people always ask what you do for a living if you ask them. It's just the how it works. I don't know why. It just works. So when people ask you to do for a living, a lot of times we've said something that didn't quite work out or we don't know what to say or worst case, we, we say nothing, uh, which is bad. So all we have to do is these five words, I show people how to. So if we say, I show people how to, well, what do you do? I show people how to get a bigger return on their money. I show people how to permanently get rid of their commute. I show people how to uh, have low risk, but high return investments. Things like that where people are like, oh, well, how does it work? Or please tell me more versus what we said before. Now we've all made mistakes and there's, there's no magical one word sentence that we'd like, but as long as we remember, it's not about us. It's always about the prospect. Then we're golden. So what I'll do is I'll do a quick screen share before I open up to questions. You kind of look at these, these are actually two different advertisements. 
look at the one here on the left, you can probably tell it's not about the company. It's about weight loss, right? This is a non-network marketing company. Entrance and exit. Pretty simple, pretty easy to do. It has nothing to do with the secret ingredient that's new is, is, is it coaching? Is it a pill? Is it a powder? Is it a patch? Is it a surgery? No idea. But people say, this is about me. If you look at the ad on the right, it's about Guinness. Now, I don't know. Uh, in the US, everything's new. So I don't know how old Guinness is. I don't know if it's 200 years or 400 years old. It has nothing to do with the, um, you know, what's in it, alcohol percentage, the history of Guinness and has nothing to do with the beer. It's all about, you know what? Enjoy, put down your phone and enjoy life. So that's, we have to stop kind of thinking too much about impressing people and really talk about pretty much them. And that's really what I kind of want to share and kind of make sure that you have some sort of visual. Um, that way you have something you'll remember, not just my talking head. <laughs> so uh, any questions or anything that um, you want to help work on? Now, as much as you can practice these icebreakers, it doesn't help unless you practice them on each other or if you have a teenager home or a spouse or even your friends that are in the business, each other. It makes it a lot easier uh, when you practice these. So any questions, type them in the chat. Feel free to unmute. See, we have a lot of twos on here. Uh, help people forget about their monthly bills. See, exactly. I mean, that opens it up to conversation. Like, how does, well, what is it? How does it work? So that's pretty cool. That's from uh, Javier. All right. Anything, uh, questions? I want to make sure you guys have value uh, for your time or at least something to, a framework to at least work on. You can unmute yourselves, guys, if you want to say anything. Yeah, I, I think that's really, really good. Like um, Javier was saying, I, I help people to reduce their monthly bills by half. Um, somebody might ask, might ask a question after that, I suppose. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And, and I know I give you a lot of information at once, but I at least want people to get value out of time and something to work on. So if you just remember, I just found out, um, I show people how to, things like that, uh, you'll, you'll be good. If you want to add a little bit more, I see it's recorded, so you're more than welcome to um, you know view it multiple times if for yeah, someone's recording you. it. <laughs> thank you. Yeah, that's me. <laughs> yeah. Um, and also, um, yeah, I'm not here to promote books or anything like that, but yeah, I also have a free podcast. If you look up my name and icebreakers, that that pops up. That's a 16, 17 minute audio. If you want to uh, listen to that as well, but this one you have that's that's pretty much focused. So. Great. Paul, did you want to say something? I know you just saw me to yourself. Um, not particularly. Uh, I'm, I'm uh, on a learning curve at the moment, um, as you know. <laughs> uh, I'll just unmute it just in case I had something to say. <laughs> we feel you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Anyone else? Colin, do you want to say anything? Because I show people how to free up their time. So, yeah, feel free yeah. to type one in. Like, yeah, the more we type in, well, like, yeah. people say, well, I'm thinking about this one. And you can always improve it. That's the best part. It's like, it's not set in stone. It's not a tattoo. We're good. You can, you can, we can all kind of learn from each other, whether you do it now or, or at another time. And it's like, oh, okay, I tried this one and people pay attention. I tried this one, they ran away. So, we kind of can, can share that as well. It's kind of nice. Yeah, I've had, a few, I've had a few people run away. <laughs> oh, that's a great, they're, they're great um, you know, entrances, if you like, into a, into a conversation, aren't they? So, yeah, just steer people in the right direction, as it were. Mm -hmm. and, and a lot of times people go, well, you know, what do I post on social media? What can I text people? What can I email people? It's sometimes just your icebreaker. Hey, I just found out. If you would like to know about it, I'd be glad to tell you. Or, well, you know how we get a horrible uh, rate of return on our banks. I just found out we could double it or triple it or you know get a better percentage if i'd like to know about it, i'd be glad to tell you that is for the introverted people perfect i'm getting it to look at your video <laughs> <laughs> what's that myra no i said i definitely need to look at your video the icebreakers i need a lot of help with icebreakers to be honest i'm more i put in two but to be honest i'm more one and one between one and one and a, if i'm going if i know what i'm talking about if I, then it's okay but 
yeah, I'm I'm between a one and a two, so I could use a lot of icebreakers. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, we could we could share them here as well. I got a couple more minutes, but let me kind of give you a little bit of a mindset on this. We have to realize what we have, people need. We just have to let them know how to understand. It. So everybody wants a better rate of return. Everybody wants more money in their bank account. Nobody says, I wish I had less money in my bank account. I wish I could, um, you know, have uh, zero methods of income instead of one. I need multiple methods of income. You know, everybody wants what I have. We just have to find out. So never feel intimidated about talking to people because they want what we have. It's just up to them if they want to take advantage of it. So Stuart has a good um, intro to engage conversation. How's COVID affecting your business? Now, yeah, we never want to do claims as far as we 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 can solve your COVID problems, but that is a great question to engage people in conversation. People feel comfortable about talking about COVID. They've been talking about it for a year. They're still talking about it. <laughs> yeah. Can I ask another question? Absolutely. Uh, but uh, wouldn't it be <clears throat> even better uh, if you... Because for me, okay, money is, yeah, it is, to me, it's just a vehicle. It's, it's more the end goal that people want, you know, the, the, yeah, to have more freedom and to spend more time, yeah, quality time with friends and family. But, mm -hmm. or do, would you, you, you say uh, you should uh, mention the money first? Well, it, it depends on who you're talking to. It depends on the situation. It's always kind of like um, a menu. So if you kind of know what people like to eat, you're like, if you, if you say, hey, we're going to have uh, shrimp and prawns. I'm like, I'm allergic. We're, we're not going to have it. We're not going to eat there. So it's like, OK, I know this person would love to travel. I, I've known them for 20 years. They would love to travel. Then, yeah, talk about being able to travel. Definitely. So I just kind of give people simple ones. But, yeah, definitely you want to um, up up your ante when people you when you know somebody um so if you said um so okay so let's let's go for income like oh, i show people how to get an extra 500 pounds per month or something like that uh, if you know that that would make a big difference in their life then you would talk about that but if you know that they make a lot more if they need a lot more um then you would talk about oh, i show people how to get an extra 5,000 pounds per month things like that Okay, thank you. Yeah, but definitely, yeah. If you know them and you know what they like to do, absolutely let them know because uh, I'm just kind of giving um, more generic ones for people that you don't know. I'm thinking of putting an advert in the paper because uh, there's been a lot of people on furlough or loss of jobs being made redundant because of the COVID. Do you have any pointers at all? Um, as a generality, don't. <laughs> don't. <laughs> <laughs> Here's why. Here's why. <laughs> because for the same amount of money, you could do so much more. So let's say, okay, I want to spend 100 pounds. Well, what can you do for 100 pounds? You could invite you could pay for you know uh, 10 people's coffees and have a have a coffee face to face when things open up you could do you could do so much more with it okay. um yeah mm -hmm. so like if, if you know this person's a good lead and 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 uh whether it's uh, via someone you met on social media or, or someone that you've known for a long time like hey i'll even buy a cup of, let's meet for coffee my treat and you can use that now that's I don't say you, you always have to buy people a cup of coffee, but if you're wanting to spend the money, I think it's better spent on more personable touches than um, advertising because that's a whole nother ball game. Mm. Right? It's a lot of work. Not, not necessarily. It, it, obviously advertising works. That's why people spend millions and millions of pounds on it, but it's a, it takes a while to get it. I, I used to be in advertising. And, uh, <laughs> um, yeah. Yeah. So it works. It's just, it's a big learning curve. And then you have to think about duplication. That's the one thing. Um, so I'm not saying it's a bad idea. I'm just saying it's for that amount of money, I would spend it otherwise. Okay. Thanks. Thank you. Yeah, you bet. And uh, just expanding a little bit on what Myrna was saying. And 
regarding the maid side of thing, I thought I always, always found it better to just, uh, you know, maid doesn't necessarily mean anything to anybody, it's just a figure. So um, kind of um, seems to work better if you ask people what they're looking for, you know, so I would sort of kind of say, you know, how do you like to change your car or, you know, what kind of holidays would you like? And then, and then you can you can let them know that, that it's quite achievable through this business, I think. So I, I tend to go, let them focus on not a figure of uh, an amount of money, but rather than, you know, what they can do with it um, seems to work a lot better. Oh, yeah, that, that's a, yeah, I should mention, after you do your initial icebreaker, engage them in conversation. <laughs> Absolutely. People don't care about us at all. I wish they did. They don't care about us. <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, uh, so let's see. Let's see. Your icebreaker was increasing the percentage in the bank. OK, great. Well, you know, what would you need to retire? What would you like to do with the money? I mean, money's just a vehicle. I mean, what, were you, what do you really want to do? Because then it opens up. Then it's emotional. It's not analytical. Awesome. Any last minute questions? Feel free to ask. I got a couple minutes left here. Greetings, Keith. Um, first off, thank you for your time and, and taking this in. And uh, wanted to add, um, I'm from Mexico, actually, and um, this works in Spanish. <laughs> Keeping it simple and, and uh, changing the usual things, work, I, I would believe, works in, in every language. But there's also this thing that sometimes, like when I'm doing this, seems very natural and, and fresh here at least because most of the leaders are kind of like following sometimes trends that are living right that are passed down or handed down from either leaders in the us or other countries and it's it's feeling odd or old kind of and yeah oh, oh definitely yeah um what worked uh, last year doesn't work anymore. It's just, we always have to figure out what do people want? <laughs> it would be great if we could all uh, have an hour long meeting, but do people want to go to an hour long meeting? Um, you know, things like that. We have to always have to kind of consider um, what worked. Uh, yeah. Last year, 20 years ago, 30 years ago. Yeah. A lot of times they just hand things down. Like, well, it worked in 1970. It should work now. No, absolutely not. So yeah, that's a great point. We always have to kind of think that's why I was called the teenager test. Like if a teenager gets it, we're golden because um, it's just how we think nowadays. We have it. I mean, think about when you scroll through social media, like you literally look at that post for like a, not even a second. You look at a YouTube feed, that YouTube video isn't exciting. Like a half a second, you're like, nope, next on the next one. So we have to be very to the point, <laughs> at least at the beginning. Once we have people engaged in conversation, yes. Great, great. Thanks. Thanks for letting me know. No, thank you, Keith. They, they're, they're really good um, little pointers, and I'm sure people are going to be trying them out, um, which would be brilliant uh, to see see what sort of results they get back and, and make conversations. It's about making conversations, guys, at the end of the day, and how you start those conversations, engage with people, and how you you, you, you take it from there, really. And it's really, you know, finding like Keith said, finding out what people want, you know, and, and then their needs and their don't wants, and then building from there really it's, it's really good i love it i love it yeah so it's uh i just found out and what was the other one uh um, well if you want to up your game well you know how and yeah, give them rhetorical information yeah. and I then if you meet somebody new you say i show people how to because that's what I we show do we show people how, how to, to yeah. fix their problem yeah yeah really really good thank you very much yeah you bet yeah thanks for having me on and i'd love to be on at any time and uh yeah, feel no. free to to um you know view the po it's called the networker zone if you want to get more it's free training on a regular network, basis ne networker zone yeah <laughs> okay <laughs> sorry it's sorry. our english <laughs> uh, no no problem uh it's me talking <laughs> fast as well but that way you know whether you know, always listen to try to figure out if you can listen to something positive every single day or listen yeah. read whatever just a little bit you're golden that's what most people just kind of forget to do i yeah, forget we, to we, we do a book of the month as well where we're following and it's good and a lot of people and we oh, also cool. do a mastermind uh, a 5 a.m mastermind club as well uh, wow all right a lot of people join yeah that's high tech stuff <laughs> that's a good way that's a good way to start your day yeah 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 and uh yeah my sponsor boris is here as well he's the one who leads that so it's a really really good one yeah super cool yeah brilliant
thanks a lot for your for your help and uh, thanks a lot for the tips and we'll make sure we uh, point people in the right direction towards your podcast um, yeah, and look, look forward to seeing you again yeah I think your father suggested maybe you do this every 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 fortnight or, or a little bit more we'll see how it goes you bet anytime yeah. sounds great appreciate it good thanks a lot thanks a lot all right Thank have a wonderful yes. day everybody Thank Boris, you, you want to say something yeah. for your time and we really appreciate your investing here with uh, with us um half an hour of your precious time because we know what it is it's like you're basically replacing spending time with family to to be with us here so we really appreciate it do you mind just typing your um <clears throat> your audio uh, where we can find you just just on the oh. chat so yeah, we can yeah it's so we don't gonna mess it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you could stream it from the the um, the website, but at the same time, it gives you links to Apple, Spotify, Google, all those. Um, so I just type that in there at the bottom. Um, but that way, you know, that's one option. You know, find uh, you know book of the month. Uh, find just find something that everybody resonates with uh, on a regular basis. And yeah, you guys, you guys got this down. This is great. Thank yeah, and, but trust me, I had, I had a good time, so. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you, you very much for all the value that you provided tonight. Much appreciated. Oh, yeah. Thank you. And, uh, yeah, I'll, I'll definitely uh, see you all soon. Yeah. Thank you. Say hello to Liz and the family for me as well. Thanks. Oh, yeah, you bet. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. Brilliant. Good. Guys, uh, just to let you know, by popular request, we've uh, got a presentation happening at 8 o'clock. Uh, so you can either stick around or come back, and uh, we're going to have the presentation at 8. And uh, any guests that you have to come along, um, it, it, it's a slightly different presentation, but uh, not much different from what we've been doing in the new presentation. Um, unless you want to stick around and, and ask any questions while Boris and I are here. Uh, I'll jump yeah. out because I have some slides. Oh, you got it. Okay, yeah. yeah no, go coming. ahead. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Bianca, did you did you gain anything from that? Bianca, are you there? <laughs> I don't think I've locked everyone. I locked anyone on. Okay. Maybe not. Okay. Anyone else want to ask any questions while we're waiting for eight o'clock and a few more guests arrive? Everyone's had their uh, questions answered. Hello. Hi. <laughs> Oh, I have to say, this morning was really good. All day I was thinking about my dreams. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's good. I hope you put it down on paper now. Man, it was really good, man. All day, all I've spoke about is dreams and yeah. dreams. And, and, and uh, approached a few um, customers today, and um, I've given them your gym story as well. Okay. And, I've got the, and I've got the three yeses, so I'm getting actually quite happy now. Okay, um, cool. Yeah, it's, work, it's, it's working. So tomorrow, me and you, I should have a busy day and um, bringing <laughs> these people. <laughs> no, no, that's good. That's really, really good, um, uh, Kovinda. Really, really good. Yeah, it does work. I've tried it. And um, I was just telling somebody earlier on, actually, um, I tried the, uh, the gym story with a few people. And uh, one person actually signed up before, the, before even knowing what the company was. Yes. <laughs> it was where do I sign? What do I have to do? That was it. That gym story is really good because I think it's just a, such a lovely way of explaining it. It's um, a simple way, yeah. Yeah, it's a yeah. simple. As soon as they're like, you know, you're gonna get six hundred dollars if you're introducing, um, you'll be getting paid for it. That's it. That that actually that like lifts their eyebrows and they're like, you yeah. what? Yeah. Let's get on to it. So, yes. Can you, can you imagine if uh, when, when you open your lady's gym and you start telling the gym story? <laughs> no, this is what it is. So, I'm actually advertised today on my website because we'll be opening soon on the 12th. Uh -huh. uh, lockdown. Um, it's going to be great because um, I'll send you the pictures of the gym already now, uh, the back area, the offices, and everything. So, it's going to mm -hmm. be great. Yeah, great stuff. Brilliant. Looking forward to it. Tomorrow's 5 a.m. call is going to be really good as well. 
Don't worry, I'll be uh, up. <laughs> I'll be up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, this this presentation now, I'm actually going to include the um, the gym story, uh, and then you'll see how I've led into the company. So normally, what I'd say is that you know, tell the gym story as a as a as an introduction, and then once you've got the interest and the interest on the next stage is um, if, if, you, if you're not, not able to do the presentation uh, after that, then, then just send them the video on the presentation. So, you know, that makes it easy. Yeah, that's great. Yeah, that's brilliant. Thanks. Okay. I'm just going to do a couple of things then, and I'll be back in a few minutes. So, don't mind me at the moment. Eric? Yeah, sorry. Sorry, sorry, I, I quickly stepped away. Oh, okay, um, yeah. Yeah, uh, you wanted to, uh, did you ask me a question? You wanted me to Yeah, I was just something? asking you what you, what you thought of that, uh, what Keith, Keith went through today about the three, the, the three little sentences. Oh, okay, no, it's fantastic. You know what, I think um, we are so privileged uh, um, through your efforts, Eric. You and Boris, you are really bringing value to the team so um no i i i definitely think we 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 sometimes make things too difficult and it and, and he just came and simplified it once again <laughs> yeah it was very very easy i mean it, it, I, i've even funnily enough i've used these terms before because i learned them from from tom you know his father quite a while ago and and they brought back memories and they work they work yeah you know, the, the yeah. one especially where you say i've just found out I just found that if you um, have proper training and you're with the right company, you can actually uh, reduce your rent by half. And then what's yes. something you're going to say? They're going to say, how? You see, that's the <laughs> thing, how? Because you don't say anything after that, yeah? You just shut up. And then they, yeah. they, their brain's going like the clappers. What's he talking about? Mm. What's he on about? How's it happening? How, how, how? <laughs> yeah, you yeah. Know? No, no, it's just. I just found just, out how you can actually get a brand new car and not pay for it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> really? And that is, oh. that, is, that, is, that is the beauty, yeah. That's the beauty of it. You don't have to say a lot. No. It is just keeping it so simple. It, yes. Yeah. Yeah. And, and, and the thing is, the people are inquisitive. And it's not true. It's not untrue because. You know, we get free cars in the business, so you know, I've just found out how to got a, how to get a free car without paying for it. Imagine saying to that to somebody, right? What are they gonna yeah. say? Yeah. They're either gonna say, well, they're not even gonna, they're gonna say how, aren't they? Yeah. No, fantastic. We 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 we're really privileged to to be on these calls. Yeah, yeah, no, really, really good. And uh, also with the with the with the with the new presentation and the fact that we're offering the training, we are. I just spoke to somebody today, by the way. He, he yeah, he came in earlier for 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 Keith's uh, chat, and he's joining the company now. Um, this guy's with another company, and mm. uh, I actually said to him because uh, the thing he was griping about, he said, I said to him, "How are you doing?" He said, "I've got loads of customers." So I said, "Yeah, okay." Good. So how are you doing? You must be making lots of money. And he said to me, no, I'm not. And I said, why? He said, well, our business is dependent on building the teams. OK. So I said, so it's your upline making money. He said, I'm not sure because I don't talk to him very much. And the next thing I said, well, what, 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 why, why not? And he said, well, I'm not getting any training. Oh, I said, OK. So can I can I show you a business model? Um, I'm not asking you to join. I just want to, I want you to tell me what you think of this business model. And then I went through the gym gym thing with him. I actually got him into Zoom, showed him just the gym bit, and he said, "Wow, that's so easy and so good." Um, so 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 how do I join? And this was before even knowing that it's epic or anything. Just on that business model, because he said, "Wow, that's fantastic." Then I showed him Epic. Then I showed him the training, well, the training before Epic, because remember, it's always preceded by the training. And he said, uh, you know, I'm sold on the training, he said. You know, I need yeah. that training. So so, yeah, yeah. so he will join us because of the training, not because of Epic. Do you understand? Yes. So Epic's the vehicle. In the right business. Yeah. We're in the right business. <laughs> yeah, 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 definitely. And this is so cool because the other thing also is as your teams grow, 
it'll be the training that holds it all together. So the important bit now is to get your team members to the training. I know that we've, we've got currently about 120, 130 people that are active in the business, but you know, we're getting an average of 20 people coming to the trainings. We need yeah. a lot more people coming because it's for their benefit. This is the important thing. It's for their benefit. And you as leaders need to make sure that your people are benefiting. And uh, mm -hmm. we're even we're even considering, and I, and I must admit, I, I, I tend to agree with Boris, to not even record the trainings because what we're doing then is, is, is encouraging people to be lazy. You know, okay, there might be people who have job situations, etc., but, you know, then they can come to me individually. Um, you know, why why do something where, where we're giving so much value, we're not even charging it for, for it, and people are not joining it, and yet they want freedom. So what yeah. are they giving up to want that freedom? I'm saying, really, uh, there is a price to pay, and that price to pay is to spend time learning. price to pay is to actually improve your skills, improve your value to other people for so sure by doing, that, by doing that you need to, to do that you need to actually gain value from somewhere you can't just become valuable just like that you know so it's important and, and i think we need to stress to anybody that we bring into this that that the training is part and parcel of it because without the training honestly you'll lose people people will actually after a week say oh this doesn't work but then it's not that it doesn't work they don't work because they haven't developed their skills they haven't developed their their ability to communicate with people on a better level and it'll yeah. help them in their jobs you know my career as a direct result of um uh, the 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 personal development i've had since since uh, I, I joined this industry has has gone completely rocketed rocketed you know, to be a consultant chef at the age mm -hmm. I started, and also to even take it further back, you know, age 21, I was actually deputy manager of a hotel um, that was actually 500 bedrooms in London. Now, most people are in their 30s plus running uh, the deputy manager. And the only reason is because my self-development had taught me how to communicate and that yeah. communication level, people take a long time to learn. It doesn't just happen. You don't you don't get taught at school how to communicate. You don't well, get sure. taught at school how to how to deal with people at different levels. You know, this comes from from reading, from from self developing, from learning um, what what the people you know at the higher levels do. And you'll be surprised yeah. once you do that, you'll be talking to all kinds of people. I know, for example, you know people in this team they talk to people at so many different levels you know I mean, Colin just brought in a, a pathologist yesterday who has his own business as well you know and and that's because he's he's, he's developed his skills over, over the years and that's what's important you know this this yep. is so important and, and and I'll get some of the people sometimes to tell their stories as well like Colin for example you know people have been through personal challenges um, and because of the self-development in this industry, it's actually almost saved their lives and, and you know, and, 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 and made them go down different paths. So, you know, it's important for you to appreciate what, what you're getting here. And again, a lot of people charge a lot of money for, for the things that we're giving. I always believe it should be free um, because that's the way I've always felt about it. But I know I've worked in other companies where you pay for training, you pay for um self-development so um let's uh yeah let's make use of it let's meet let's join people up there on that basis that they're gonna get their hands held they're gonna get help they're gonna get all the, the the things all the tools necessary to build in in this type of business that's the cool thing about it so we've got about 15 minutes i'm just gonna make a couple of calls now and then uh, i'll come back and we'll do the presentation so uh, if, if, if you want, just, uh, again, unmute yourselves, or if you want to talk. I don't know if there's anybody here who wants to talk. Nobody's got their videos on. So I'll see you all in 15 minutes. Okay.